Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download MySQL on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to open up Google Chrome here. And I'm going to navigate over to Google.com. In the Google, you want to type in MySQL and then hit Enter. One of the best matches should be from mysql.com and underneath that you can see there's a downloads link. You want to left click on that. Again the domain up at the top should be mysql. Let's say you want to just go all the way down and download the community edition which is a general public license here. You can select that by left clicking on the hyperlink one time. So just by left clicking on this download hyperlink right here would be take us to this page and then we can scroll down until we get to underneath community server, select the operating system here. You would select your operating system and your OS version as well. So if it's 32 or 64 bit operating system. And once you're done doing that, you can go to the download page by just left clicking on this link as well as downloading an archived or a zip compressed folder here, whichever you prefer. So we're going to go to the download page and now we're going to select our download right here and if you don't want to log into your Oracle account you just scroll down and select no thanks to start my download so it's about 18 megabytes the initial installer so the initial installer or web installer is not that big here and once it's done downloading we're just going to left click on it once to open it up and we can minimize out of the web browser at this time if you receive a security notification do you want to allow this file to run left click on run If you receive a user account control window that follows, left click on yes to continue. If you receive any further user account control windows, again just left click on yes to allow the permissions. So now at this point you want to accept the license terms by clicking inside this box and then left clicking on next and now you want to select the setup type that you can use so if you want to do developer default you can select that as well as selecting other options as well again you can read through and probably you already know what you're looking for at this point so we're just going to select next just to kind of continue on with a demonstration example here And now for product, let's just say MySQL Server 5.7.21 here. And you can see the requirements on the right. So again, depends on what you need. So just left click on Execute. And again, it's going to really depend on what you set up at this point. And you can see you'd have to accept any further license terms as well. And it's a pretty straightforward process. And then again, you just would go down the list. It'll allow you to continue on the installation, and that should be about it, guys. So pretty straightforward tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.